the celebration of Moxie Women is about empowering the potential of girls, the promise of rising stars, and the power of women. Let me tell you, I had to do a little research about Moxie and found out that it's a woman of gumption and vigor. And I think it just speaks boldly about how smart women are, how bold we are, how courageous we are. And there are a lot of Moxie women out here, and it just balls up all of their energy into one word, Moxie. What are the uh, the opportunities at an event like this for the young women? Well, there are lots of opportunities. There's the intangible uh, connectors that happen when you're in the space of others who are motivated and inspired to give and do their best. There, there are enormous opportunities to learn because we have a workshop component all morning as well as this afternoon. There are opportunities to meet others from other walks of life who may be enduring some of the same struggles you're having as an emerging professional. Talking about challenges, what are some of the challenges facing young women today? Well, I think, you know, um, they're the same challenges that I had to face. I think, you know, the fact that getting an education is absolutely extremely important. Uh, without it today, it's just, I think it's, gonna, it's impossible to realize most dreams. So it becomes important for us to help our young people understand the importance of education. That is one of the keys to advancement. It's not the only key, but it's certainly one strong one. So we want to make sure that we're encouraging them to stay in school and that it is a good thing if you can get good grades and strive to be strong. Sometimes you have peers that want you to just sort of hang with them and not be accomplished. They'll say, well, you're a nerd or you're corny if you're getting A's in school. We want to help them to understand that it is a positive thing to get good grades, to be striving to be better and stronger, and not to get caught up in some of the negative aspects that young people all over are involved in. I think the glass ceiling is still with us, that we have to support each other, and when we get in positions, um, decision-making positions, that we open the door for other women to come in. Um, we're standing, all of us are standing on the shoulders of many women come before us and we got to remember that we have to do the same for young people uh, who are coming after us so those shoulders have to be broad. Councilman, tell us a little bit about the sponsors that are at the event today. Yes, that would be very important. We first need to thank Comcast, who's been with us every single year for 12 years. And um, PICO is our presenting sponsor today, who's been there with us since square one. And Citizens Bank, Maven Inc., and a range of other corporate citizens who also believe in the value of uh, uplifting women. Yes, well, Comcast uh, focuses its philanthropy in three areas, uh, community service, and you know Comcast Cares Day is coming up. Um, we focus on literacy with a focus on digital literacy and youth empowerment and developing tomorrow's leaders. And participating in this activity where we are identifying young women leaders and future leaders is exactly what Comcast is trying to do around the country and particularly here in Philadelphia. As you know, Citizens is very active in the community and for projects like this that Councilwoman Blondell Reynolds Brown has, we're always ready to support these events, particularly when it pertains to kids. PICO is the major sponsor of today's event. Uh, PICO has been a sponsor of this event since it started and we've been proud to be sponsors of it. We think it's just a wonderful opportunity for PICO to continue its work in the community and to work in particular with Councilwoman Blondell Reynolds Brown. United Way uh, really as one of our agendas is uh, education and as an element of that is really about engaging young girls um, and giving them some of the tools and the skills that they need to be successful both in school and in life and I think really today is about empowerment and that's one of the very critical tools that our girls need in order to be successful. Just tell us a little bit uh, your, your take on some of the challenges that young women are facing today. Oh, in these downward spiral economic times, women, young women, women of every age are facing great challenges. People not working, not having jobs, not having, seeming to have a sense of hopelessness. The uh, rates of abuse are increasing. And so we need to address these problems. And a day such as this affords us an opportunity to disseminate information, to give women hope and knowledge about how to change their situations, if they're negative, how to make them positive, and if they're positive already, to encourage them to do better and more.